And in true Texas fashion, there are lots of people helping. And the one question we keep getting asked is, how can I help? Yeah, people want to become uh, part of that flotilla sure. of volunteers. I love that wording. Uh, so we have rounded up the ways that you can help out, and it is certainly needed right now. Our digital journalist, Alicia Ibrahimji, is in our social media center this afternoon with everything you need to know. Alicia, so many people just want to do something to get involved. You feel almost powerless so far away watching these images. That's right, Jason. Reading all these Facebook messages and seeing all the posts to our page, people just want to do something. So again, we have that list prominent on our homepage. It's called How to Help Harvey Evacuees. And we have a full list here of ways to donate money, ways to volunteer your time, and some of the supplies that these organizations are looking for. Now, the American Red Cross is saying they don't need any supplies, but there are a number of organizations that do need supplies. So we have that information on our website. You can see all the different partners right here that are banding together and working to get supplies together and uh, get volunteers to come and help them. I want to talk about this. Trusted World is actually an organization that is holding a donation drop off on the Dallas North Tollway. It's happening right now from 3 to 8 p.m. And these are the current supplies that are needed. They need new underwear and socks of all sizes, non-perishable food, toiletries, feminine hygiene products, and baby diapers, wipes, and formula. So if you have any of those around the home that you can drop off to the Dallas North Tollway location, Trusted World would appreciate that greatly. Now, we got a few messages asking about animal shelters. Well, the SPCA of Texas is, has already received 123 cats from Corpus Christi, and they're preparing to intake more animals that are affected by Hurricane Harvey. The SPCA is also looking for donations. They have all of that information right here on their website. Again, we have that link on our list. And it looks like right now they're looking for financial donations and litter boxes, dog food, things to help keep the pets safe and in good health. Another resource you may have not thought about, Carter Blood Care is looking for blood donations for people that have medical needs and that have been affected by Hurricane Harvey. There's this map right here where you can click in, type your zip code, and it will find the nearest location to you. And one last resource that I wanna point out, this is so helpful right now. Airbnb on their website has a list of urgent accommodations. They've got homes here in Austin and San Antonio that people are renting out for free. So this is another great resource. Again, you can find all of this information, the full list on WFAA.com. All right, uh, Alicia, I like how we've compiled all of that. Uh, so you can just go to one stop there if you'd like to help out. Meantime, we know that Texans do have big hearts and that so many want to help. And we have another way that you can do that yes, starting tonight. another way. In addition to all the other ones we just listed there, Texas Techno Stations have teamed up with the Red Cross to raise money for storm victims. And we'll be kicking off our phone bank tonight on News 8 at 10. Yeah, we're both going to be there mm -hmm. for this. And we hope you will, too. You can donate by going to WFAA.com slash Texas Cares. Or you can call in tonight when we kick all of that off. Every penny will go to the Red Cross relief efforts. And uh, boy, they're going to need as many of those pennies as they can get. That's right. Again, no uh, amount given is too small because mm -hmm. we know folks desperately need it down there. So when we come back from the break, we're going to check back in with the Weather Center to understand what the weather is doing here in our neck of the woods in North Texas. Lots of clouds today, and we understand we'll have some cooler temperatures that will last well into the week. So meteorologist Kyle Roberts will have all the details for you.